I'm back today with another design team project for Dyes R Us. This time I'm making a birdhouse magic iris card. Hello and welcome to Debbie J's Crafting Corner. I'm Debbie and each week I show you how you can create awesome cards and other crafty projects. Because if I can make it, you can too. So if you'd like to see more tutorials and inspirational videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. For today's card, I created this super cute little birdhouse using the Magic Iris Birdhouse Die add-on. I couldn't help myself when I got that one in. I'm also using the regular um, Magic Iris dies. We've got the three circles. One has the flex capacitor cutouts on it. Also, we've got the three little sausage pieces and the three stabilizer pieces. To make this, you put the Basically, you take the sausage piece and slide it into the little holes in that one circle die that has those cutouts from the flux capacitor piece, making sure to line up those little wedges um, to, to create a complete circle. Then you're going to use some um, mini dots, mini glue dots, to place them right on that little X that is also die cut. You have to make sure you're using the right size um, glue dots, otherwise it's not going to really work right. It'll either be too much or too little adhesive. The mini glue dots are the perfect size for that. And I'm just adding one of those little mini glue dots to each of those little X's making sure to those um, sausage pieces are lined up perfectly and then I'm going to add one of those other circles on top next I'm going to cut out one of the little handles. Actually, I cut out two from that die, um, mostly because I find that they're not quite as thick as I'd like them to be. So I'm just doubling it up and I'm adding some art glitter glue, art glitter glue to adhere that together to make sure that it's got a really strong bond and that thickens up that cardstock. So when I pull the little lever, I'm not going to worry that I'm going to bend it too terribly much. So next we need to start adhering the little stabilizers down. There is a little marking that is cut into the back of that um, flux capacitor piece where you can see a little bit of a, a little bit of a line there and that's where we're going to be putting our, um, our stabilizer pieces. So you take your um, tape runner or dry adhesive and you basically just add some adhesive from the inside circle right at that mark to the outside. So it's a straight line going out and you do that for each of the three stabilizers. Then you take one of the stabilizers, line that up with the inside, uh, inside curve and lie that right across that um, adhesive. So you're basically going to have these three little pieces that are sticking out. Next, we're going to add that little lever handle. We line up the inner curve of that piece that we just did with the inside circle of our rings. And we're going to line it up at one of those stabilizer pieces so it can create a little bit of a V. And then we put adhesive on basically on half of that lever and then line it back up and place it in place. That should give you perfect placement so that it's easy for you to basically open and close your iris. Next we take that third circle, that third ring, and place it on top of our magic iris, this assembly we've got so far. And then we're going to put just some adhesive on those little tabs that are sticking out from our stabilizers. Next, we're going to take each of those little stabilizers and gently, I do mean gently, wrap it around the front. You do not want this to be too tight because if it is, your, your magic iris will not move. So you need to just gently hug it around. If it reaches the other side, the inner circle of your um, ring, then you've got it way too tight. Now that the mechanism is all done, it's time to start decorating our card. To give a background for my birdhouse, I'm using the cover plate die that comes as an add-on for the magic iris. This 
since my birdhouse is white, I wanted to add just a hint of color to this background panel. So I grabbed my, my blue blending brush and I'm just adding a little bit of ink, whatever is left on that brush, I'm adding to that panel. I'm going to use some green cardstock as my main panel and I want to place my little white circle. I actually want to use a white circle so I can stamp on it and I need to add that in the right place on this panel. So I'm just lining up the cover plate over the green cardstock and putting some glue on the back of that little circle and then I'm just going to place it right in that center spot. That's going to give me perfect placement for my sentiment. In the cover plate add-ons um, set, there's also this little die that adds an extra little tab to go on your pull tab. So I'm also cutting that out of that same green cardstock. And using my art glitter glue, I'm going to glue that onto the end of that tab. Although it may not have been necessary, I cut out a second of that little extra tab just so I could get the arrow to um, inlay into that, um, into that little tab. It basically makes it all flush and it's still white. I also went back and cut off the excess using my scissors. Now it's going to be nice and flush with our cover plate. I'm adding some um, dot liner adhesive to the entire front ring of that mechanism and making sure that my um, window is closed. I'm now can, I now can position that just perfectly on, that, on the back of that cover plate so that the tab, the little um, pull tab lines up right and that makes it easy to, to operate and everything's adhered in place. For my sentiment, I'm grabbing a couple of the sentiments off of the Reveal Wheel sentiment stamp set from Lawn Fawn. I just thought that these were appropriate and they're the right size. Mostly I picked the stamp set because it's the right size for that little window. I'm using some foam dots that I've had in my stash for quite a while to adhere this um, mechanism panel onto my green front panel and I was struggling with these. They are really stuck in there. I think I let them sit for a little bit too long. You also want to make sure that the adhesive that you put on the back, the foam, you don't want it to be near where you're going to be basically using the pull tab. So you put basically three across the top three across the bottom and that should be fine. I did discover that I didn't have quite enough room for me to be comfortable with pulling that tab. So I go back and I add a second layer of those foam dots. Now I can add some adhesive to the back circle and opening up that window so I can see well, can place that right over my little circle and you've got perfect placement again. The mechanism is in, held in place with all of the adhesive, the dry adhesive you put on the back of that circle and then you've got your foam dots that are holding the rest of the panel in place. And here is where I forgot to hit record. I used art glitter glue to adhere that little birdhouse down with the window going right over my magic iris window. And then I cut out some grass from that green cardstock uh, using, I believe it was one of the Lawn Fawn hillside grassy border dies. And then I also ran it back through with that, that stitched um, cover plate die so it would have that nice little stitching around the bottom. Now I'm just gluing that in place over the top of my little, um, the little post I guess for my little birdhouse and this is just turning out so so adorable. And now we can just adhere that onto the front of an A2 size card base. Now this card doesn't really need much, but I did decide to add just a little bit of bling. I've still got all those little hearts that I picked up at Target a long time ago. I've still got a ton of them left. So I decided to put one of those in that sentiment. This is a flat sequin, so it is perfect for something like this.
For the inside of the card, I took another of the sentiments off of that same reveal, meal, reveal wheel of sentiment set, and I'm just adding that down to the bottom. I figured that's going to be a good companion to the sentiment that I used on the front that says, you are so fabulous. So on the inside, it's going to say, I can't thank you enough. So this is a thank you card also taking a couple of little die cuts that I've got left over from when I was playing with the birdhouse um, die set. Um, I'm taking one of the little birds and a flower and I'm going to add that to the inside of the card as well. That finishes this Dies R Us design team project for today. Some of the products that I use can be found at the Dyes RS website and I've left links to these in the description below. Here are some other videos that I know you'll enjoy. Thanks you so much for dropping by and remember, if I can make it, you can too. See you next time.